What's the difference between research design, methodologies, and methods? Let's have a look. To start with, your research design is basically your overarching structure for the research project. This is how you propose to investigate your research questions. Research methodology in part answers the question, why have you chosen this approach? But it also goes a bit further than that. Methodology is about explaining some of the assumptions that you bring to your research design. All researchers and research questions have built-in assumptions about how we can know things and learn about things and about how data can be collected. It tells us about what kind of information will actually help us answer questions. At the very general level, there are qualitative and quantitative methodologies. An experimental design is more quantitative and ethnography is a more qualitative approach. If I want to know whether a new classroom activity improves student performance on a standardized assessment, then I can probably find that out with a quantitative approach like an experiment. If I want to know how students think about that new classroom activity as a way to build their personal abilities, then I might want to take a qualitative approach like a classroom case study that explores a student's feelings and reported experience. Which methodology you choose depends on your research question and what you want to find out, and also your research methods. Methods are a way of collecting data, like a survey, an interview, or an observation. For example, in my own research, I'm interested in finding out how teachers experience policies from the department and the government in their classrooms. My methodology is a combination of case study and institutional ethnography, which are broadly qualitative approaches because I'm interested in what teachers have to say about their experience. But I've chosen mixed methods for different parts of my research. I include a survey, which included items on a five-point Likert scale, and a space for free response. This allows me to build descriptive statistics of a school. I also conducted interviews and classroom observations, which are qualitative data about teachers' experiences. Quantitative approaches are really good at testing theories and identifying relationships between different factors. They can be run at very large scales, which means we can sometimes generalize the findings beyond smaller contexts. But quantitative approaches can't necessarily tell us why things are the way they are, what people believe, and they can overlook the specifics of a research context. Qualitative approaches are really good for building a rich understanding of a social environment. They help you to build theories about why people do the things they do. They help us to pose and respond to questions about ethics, practice, policy, and much more. But sometimes they may not be the most useful if we want to make general assumptions beyond a particular context. Put another way, during analysis, you might use qualitative data to look for themes, narratives, and ideas, whereas you'd use quantitative data to look for effects, patterns, and outcomes. So that's it, research design in a nutshell. Sounds really easy, right?